Welcome back to the warm, moist underbelly of San Angeles. Would you like a rat burger? Um, well, pretty close. We ate a gas station burrito for lunch today. I am uh, confident I will pay the price for it. Uh, nah, not to the distant future. And also, guys, come on. Don't hate me just because I'm a little cooler. I love this little sticker. You get the silly, you know, tourist trap places. We went to one and, oh yeah. I, at least I got some cool stickers out of the deal. Um, <clears throat> back to business. So let me get this stuff out of the way. This is Ghostbusters stuff. This has nothing to do with the Yamato. That's from my proton pack. Uh, oh, yeah. No, we're not building one. I wish. They're just... They, what am I saying? They're too expensive. If we wanted to build one, I guess we would just... We would just suffer and just build it. But no. No, no, no. We're building the Yamato today. So, in, in this beautiful, glorious thing, I couldn't help but... Uh, you know, throw those guns on there. That thing's so cool. Uh, but you saw that in the last episode, I'm, I think, I don't know, I'm starting to, the, the days and the weeks are blurring together down here in the basement. Uh, so let's see here, ah, uh, the side space missiles, uh, the missile launchers, so we gotta get those together, um, I think I'm gonna paint the little missiles inside, uh, some kind of fun color, cause the parts are just plain gray, uh, maybe, uh, maybe red, maybe... Silver, maybe something. We'll figure it out. Um, uh, let me get some parts out and we'll, uh, we'll see what this thing fedaddles like. BRB. <laughs> Down another rabbit hole did we go. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm talking like Yoda now. Probably all the paint fumes. Um, when you guys see me paint on, on a camera, you know, I just do a, a couple bits. I have a, a big, giant 20x20 20 20, uh, Merv 14 air filter strapped to the back of a big box fan that I run at full blast along with wearing a respirator <clears throat> um, for a lot of the painting I do. When I do it on screen, I destroy the workbench. You all get a kick out of it, but that's that. Um, but our little side missile things that are going somewhere in here, I think right around here, here's them primered and painted up in XF7 red. That's fine. But then here's the difference when you hit it with the clear red on top. You get a much, much nicer anime-ish pop of a color um, that Matt's model something or other on Facebook. He's on he's on all the mecha groups. Um, yeah, good advice from that guy. I love it. So, super pro tip there. I'll be back. I got the rest of these to, uh, to spray off camera. <laughs> they call me Newt. Mostly. Mostly. Um, you know, I'm just random. I'm just listening to the movie soundtrack scores. Um, paint makes everything harder with a very well-engineered kit. I mean, this thing, the tolerances on it are extremely tight. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. We got missiles. And they're supposed to pop out, but because I painted and clear-coated the missiles, more importantly, because I primed, painted, and clear-coated said missiles, and I didn't hog out the bores of the thing they go into. Um, they don't operate <laughs> all that smoothly. We're not really going to be doing this all that much anyway, playing. But yeah, the missiles just don't pop out on their own. They're supposed to. But again, if they did, and then we closed the hatch on them to force them back in, it would probably scrape the paint off them pretty quickly. Um, so we've got both sides done here. Okay, we did our uh, our light gray primer, and then we hit it with some NATO black, and then we shot it with our special medium blue with the metallic blue and the clear blue mixed in there. And now, oh baby, let's see here. Now, we get to click it, click it into place again. Very tight. Aw, shit. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, we're missing a little... Missing a tiny bit of paint coverage right there. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna fix that with a brush after the fact. I'm, I, you know, same issue on the other side. Uh, I just, I, I was a little sloppy. Okay, well, whatever. 
it, that's why we have paintbrushes. Let's let's turn this sucker around and let's just get the other side clicked into place. We're gonna own that small boo-boo and we will fix it. Oh, come on. In, in, clicky, clicky. Clicky, clicky. Oh, oh, you are toit. Oh, you have a toit body. Oh, my lord. Ah, there we go. I felt a good click. Man, this thing is super tight tolerances. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. I'll tell you. You know, Bandai and Tamiya, I think almost more so Bandai, I, Tamiya's actually got, in my personal opinion of my mediocre level of modeling abilities, I think, I think Bandai, in 2007, their tolerances were so tight, I mean, damn, that thing looks good. That looks very nice. Oh, don't want to lose our tape. Scraping up the lower hull. There we go. Um, ooh, yeah. Not bad at all. And then we can flip this little guy up and you see the little red missiles. Around the red missiles, we just painted that with the... Uh, TS4 German Grey, which we did for all of our other interior, we're staying consistent. If it's like some interior panel of some form, we're just gonna do uh, the German Grey. It seems to be working out well for us. This is lovely. This is so lovely. Man, that's nice. There's a nice tight fit. I think what I'm gonna do at the end of this is I'm gonna go strategically maybe now you know it almost doesn't need it like there's the slightest gap I mean it's pretty minute to to glue that in but I don't think that's necessary but yeah there's a couple more parts of the ship done there oh, sorry we just got this on temporarily we just painted the tip red and then we're gonna mask off this red tip to uh, complete painting this little, whatever the hell this thing is. They, this thing's got so many little wings with pointy bullet tips on it. I, it's for atmospheric flight navigation, obviously, but I mean, they're awesome, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> a lot of little wingy things. A lot of little wingies for a spaceship, but it does operate in atmosphere on occasion, so. Man, that thing is cool. It, again, Barely, barely fits in frame. I've got my, my camera up as high as my mount will reasonably hold it. Uh, the mount that I bought is uh, good from far and far from good, just like most of the things we build down here. Uh, yeah, but oh dear, okay. And, uh, oh, 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 she's a, this is a big girl. Damn. Okay, so that's nice. These are all in. This, this is down nice. Similar tiny deck is slightly higher than the top of this panel. But I'm gonna I'm gonna touch this up very carefully with a paintbrush. This damn the trap door for the wings. That is not an easy thing to mess with. You gotta. They gave you a little. They actually give you a couple tools in the sprue to like pop it back up. It's sort of a pain in the butt, which is why I'm probably never, ever going to mess with these stupid wings. But if you want to just see the wing out, there's there's the wing out. Looks good. Looks pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. But um, when you go to put the wing back in, you got to... There we go. It clicks back in. There's a, there's a little spring-loaded catch to hold it. Uh, I don't know if I'll display it with the wings out or the way I'm gonna display it with the wings in and Occasionally pop the wings out if somebody is super geeky and wants to see all the features I will like open up the side missile tubes and be like look there's side missile tubes Close the side missile tubes 
whole thing likes to tilt a little. There we go. Oh, so it's huge. It's awesome. Uh, I love it. And uh, I guess I guess I got to paint some more parts. I was hoping to get a lot more progress done here, but uh, it's slow going when you're doing multiple um, processes. You're doing primer, let it dry. Then the shadow coat, let it dry. Then the paint coat, let it dry. Then the primer coat, uh, blah, clear coat, let it dry. Really let it dry. And then touching up your screw ups, that's another process and all that. So we're gonna go ahead and touch up our screw ups here very carefully. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with, uh, with some, more, some more stuff going on here, okay? A little more progress coming up. We'll be back. Oh, we are snapping more pieces in. Oh yes. Uh, this goes right here. Ah, ah, little, little piece of the superstructure going in there. And then this, snappy, snappy, come on, snappy. It'll snap, don't worry. Oh! Oh, it snapped right before I snapped. Woo! Nelly! Okay, there's a, there's a wee bit of a, wee bit of a panel gap. Um, yeah, we'll have to, tolerances, we'll have to deal with it. Uh, it's not, uh, Captain, we're on the last bottle of semi-gloss. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Scotty. Just order more semi-gloss. Uh, yeah, we did. We have four more cans from Hobby Link. There's a little bit of a gap there. I'm not super happy about that. Um, arr, yeah, no. Um, that's my doing, I'm sure. Bandai would, would not have done that. Um, and then we got our little lens to go over our infrared receiver. There we go. She snaps into place. Lovely. Okay. Uh, let's see. Instructions. Instructions. And that. And that. Okay. And put her on there. And that. And that. <clears throat> and then. Looks like. Ooh. Look at this. Look at that. That's not bad. It's pretty sweet. I'm going to pop her out. And I snap these together before painting them so that, you know, the, the highlights and the shadows would, would line up properly. And now we need to take our um, wave motion gun and shove her in the hole. And then shove us this. Uh, yeah, no. you know what? I just want a little bit of extra thin right there and right there listen we don't we don't need to take this thing apart hopefully we've done everything right we've tested it seven ways from Tuesday <clears throat> so that goes there that goes there one oh let's there we go one is to put this onto here. Let's, oh, can you even see that? No, you can't. We gotta move our compressor over. I don't know. She's warm, that's for sure. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna, come on, give me some glue. This tiny little brush with the Tamiya Extra Thin, it's usually fine until it's not. Like, we need more. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good fit. That's lovely. Uh, oh, my God, this thing's so big. I'm going to need to get, like, a, a camera mount that's, like, three feet higher than this for when I'm building the damn Enterprise. 
Um, okay, we got this piece, and she's supposed to go on after this upper deck, and this upper deck Snappy, snappy. Come on. There we go. Okay. Oh, man. Some, some very, ah, uh, very toit clearances with Bandai. Love it. I mean, this is technically a snap together model. Technically, you do not need glue to build this. That being said, I am very glad I have some glue. Okay, I'm done with the Tamiya. Let's bring in the heavy hitter, the plastic weld. It's just got a bigger brush. It's much easier. We're gonna... We're gonna hit all the peg areas. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. We already did a test fit here, so I'm I'm pretty confident we're not complete dorks right now with the whole. Okay. And paint a little more. There we go. Oh. Beauty! Beauty! Look at that! Jesus. This thing is huge! Alright, well, um, we've got basically a completed hull. Oh man, that is sick! <clears throat> Let's plug her, plug her power in there. Oh, baby. Let's see here. Let's get the wave motion gun. Okay, this this is really getting, this is ridiculously big. There's no way I can even, there we go, that'll work. Wait, wrong side. Beautiful. That is great. That is so great. I was complaining about, um, so the bridge lights are, are guten bright, a German lumen term, um, and the main engine. So I was really, I was really kvetching that the main engines weren't bright enough. I left a piece of masking tape inside of the main wave motion engine. Yeah, nice and bright. It's beautiful. Oh, what a monster. Wow, okay. Off. Oh, the AC adapter. So much easier than batteries. So nice. So we still have some bits and pieces to do. We got to... I got, I got this little guy to go on, on the upper deck there. Um, but other than that, I'm apparently a complete moron. I should have one, two, installed this first. Let's see. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's backwards. Oh, oh. There we go. And then... Whoop! Whoop! Easy now. Calm down, Ian. There we go. Okay, so that covers up the little wheels for the anchor chains. And they're easily accessible. Very nice. Okay. Well, we still have to paint the anchors. There we go. Uh, we have to paint the anchors. We have to paint uh, the main guns. They're still in just primer, but 
Oh man, this thing, this thing is sick. So, uh, I'm definitely, listen, this was, this has been awesome. Uh, this is a uh, very model-y model kit for me to build. Uh, I either build like tanks and like they're basically 95% plus assembled and I just carpet bomb them with paint and then do little, you know, stowage bits and the accessories. Easy peasy weathering, okay. This thing I had to paint it in so many pieces. It's like a Gundam when you paint an entire Gundam kit piece by piece by piece. I watch those guys and I'm like, I'm never going to do that. I'm probably never going to do that. Maybe someday I'll do it, but I do the Gundams to be easy. I just assemble them and then flat clear them. You know, a little panel line sometimes. But, uh, yeah, this was work. Uh, it's worth it, though. The more work you put in, usually the better results you get. And, uh, you know, when someone posts something up, somebody uh, recently posted up on one of the Yamato Facebook groups. They built a Yamato. I don't know what scale it was. It might have been 500 scale. It might have been, you know, six, 700, I don't know, thousands, whatever. It didn't really look like they painted it much, but you know what? They worked hard and they assembled that kit and they put it together and I thumbs up that post. You don't, you don't need to shun people uh, and like ignore them or like, or God forbid, criticize ridicule you know, you could be like, oh, it's a nicely assembled kit. Um, did you paint it? Are you planning to? You could ask, but, you know, do it delicately. There's some people, they can't handle the painting part. It took me years and years and years to get here to even this mediocre level of, of paint finishing, okay? Years, many years, and this is still nowhere near the best 350 scale Yamato that's been built by far. Um... But I'm proud of it. I like it. I hope you like it. If you don't like it, then so be it. You're not a fan of my style of work, I guess. But that being said, just uh, you know, be, be human to each other, especially on the Facebook modeling groups. We want more, we want more modelers in the community. We want more people in, yeah, my hand is blue. I get it, okay. Uh, and black, okay, black and blue, there we go. We want more people buying these kits and building these kits and interacting as a group it builds community not only that it ensures the livelihood of our hobbies for years to come so if you think that kit is ten dollars too expensive but you can afford it and you want it just buy it you're supporting the rest of us no i'm kidding i'm not i'm not forcing you to spend your money on anything but that being said it's like yeah you know we need more people there. We need people going to Hobby Town, or else Hobby Town goes out of business. We need people to order from Tower Hobbies and Hobby Link Japan and Hobby Link with a C, L-I-N-C, and and all these other companies and all the Gundam places, and and everywhere else. You know, if you like RC cars, you, you know, do your best to support that community and and encourage uh, the noobs, you know, to you know, you know, do better and try harder and but whatever you do, don't. Just don't don't criticize people too much online. Hey, I feel bad. I can take it. I got a thick skin. I'm from New York. You can call me an asshole all day. I don't care. I don't give a crap. Whatever. You know, I get comments. I mean, so far, they've been very tame. Someone's like, oh, it's so disgusting you burped on this video. I'm like, if that's the best you can come up with. And it was a guy from Germany. And, you know, I, have, I like my German viewers. This one guy, though, he couldn't handle the burping. I'm surprised I didn't rip a huge fart today from that gigantic burrito I had for lunch, but I turned out okay. It was a good burrito, even though it was from a gas station. It was a shell station, so, you know, maybe if it was a, a sit-go, the burrito may have killed me, but, you know, we did good. Either way, uh, this is it, I think, for this part, and we'll be back with painting of the main guns, installing all the anti-aircraft batteries, getting the uh, smokestack with the missile launchers in it and all the little wings and things all over the place. Whew! And then, oh God, painting those itty bitty little airplanes. Those don't look like fun, but I did get water slides for them and somebody told me the water slides are trash. So I don't know what I'm doing there. Um, but either way, I'm still a little that panel gap is bothering me a little bit uh we'll be back we'll see you next time uh hang in there keep modeling keep painting whatever 
like, subscribe, tell a friend, complain to your mother, email me, hate mail, or whatever it is. I'll see you next time on Pitstain's Hobbies. Be right back in a week.